We're live. Alright, so we do this intro thing. I'm just gonna work with it. Oh, anyway. We could have talked about it before. I'm sorry, you know. I'm James. I'm Ivy. And I'm Kevin Cool. You know the deal, baby. You get it. I'm Filipino. <laughs> and this is Conversations, Conversations from Above. Um, earlier, so right now I have my dog CJ with me. Um, she's been acting a fool, so she's in here. But she does act like a fool. I'm take, I'm kicking her off. Yeah. Um, why don't you carry us on? So um, this is our good friend John, who goes by Captain Cool. Um, know the deal. Yeah. He's um <laughs> he's a local friend who also, you know, does YouTube, you know, grinds that life, you know, puts his tries to put his name out there and he has a whole group called the Pinky Out Gang. He hey, started that a couple of years ago. Um, and, you know. Tell us a little bit about yourself, John. I'm John Abraham. I created a YouTube channel a few years ago because I was inspired by Fred, um, my favorite YouTuber. All the glory to him. I uh I just like to do videos because I like to make people happy. Uh, I got great friends and I do them with them. And I sometimes just like, if they're not with me, I'm gonna do them without them, all right? Because I, either way, I'm hungry to make videos, hungry to make content. I can't always do it, you know, going to college. We're all going to college. Yeah. But I still, I still work. I still pump them out. I still do what I can. And that's what we love, you know? That's the grind we like. So like, um, I wanna start off by asking actually, like what got you but what got you into making content? <clears throat> so, like I said before, like Fred, like it wasn't just Fred that got me into content. Because oh, yeah. Fred is like, he, those videos are so stupid. But I, I remember just like, it's like these are the type of videos I want to do, you know, like where I'm just like constantly talking. It's constantly something crazy is going on. And th like before him, I remember watching the, the Mr. Epic Man videos where he's like, how animals eat their food and stuff. Oh like, my dude, god! Oh, like, those that are is crazy. They were like so. Like I remember watching those and I was like, dude, these are sick. And then um, the rhino when he just ran the table. Dude, that was funny all of it. But the first YouTuber that ever got me kind of like psyched to YouTube videos was uh, Julian Smith. Oh yes, so those were like 2009 Smith. videos. Yeah, yeah. And stuff. His videos were good. Don't know what they no, are. you do because remember he went on a hiatus forever. Yeah, he's forever. Still, like, and then when about. he came back, yeah. And then he's all like, yeah, I've had like a flip phone for the last couple of like, years. He I was did like, commercials for a little bit too. Yeah, like, it was just but like no one knew. He just like said he just like chilled out, traveled, just sat down, Very watched weird. a bunch of Netflix shows, like read. So weird. He was yeah, on top of the game he too. Was, that is he was a big YouTuber. Um, you know, he uh, he lived in ben uh, Brentwood for a little bit. Really? Like, I remember one of his videos, the Frisbee one, the disc one. Yeah. <laughs> I, at least this is what I think, you know. But like, I used to go to that place um and i used to i, I thought i i, I never confirmed it <laughs> but I think, he lived, I think he lived in brentwood i don't know but i'm just saying stuff now you know yeah. Yeah. Dude, so like with youtube like do you think like with youtube how you i know you started you know trying to make name for yourself way before me and isaac <clears throat> so like with youtube like from like you know Back then, to compare now, do you still think YouTube is like the con like where you want to post content? Do you think it's YouTube's gonna be as successful as it was back then when you wanted? Um, I think YouTube's at the best place it is right now. Really, but there are some things about it that really limit new people to yeah. like get big. Cause like now, when I was looking to monetize my channel, I see like you have to have a thousand mm -hmm. followers. You have to have what four thousand hours played. Of your videos, you have done a lot of four like, thousand hours just to get. That's a lot. That's a lot, James. If you think about it, that's four thousand podcasts. Mm. But but like obviously, if more like let's say a hundred like one person's watching yeah, every single time. <laughs> yeah, like let's say we have one follower, it would take us that many. Oh my! But yeah. no, yeah, it's it's kind of and now like monetize like a lot of companies like just don't they take that. stuff yeah. down. Yeah, like if you so cuss, safe. Yeah, if you cuss, they take they take that. They will yeah. they will not pay you, and it's sad in my opinion. So that's why I don't think it's like at the best place right now how it used to be. Yeah. But so it was a lot. It but but back then yeah. there weren't as many people like trying to advertise on the site and stuff. Yeah. There were a lot less advertisements. You yeah. never knew. And that's that. what, but that's what I appreciate how it was harder, you know, mm -hmm. to get yeah. the other day. Yeah. But I mean, now, but, like, now it's yeah. still pretty Like difficult. Mr. Beast, he became big. Like what, that was months? crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so I watched these videos. Okay. No disrespect to Mr. Beast, but I was like, dude, this guy 
he doesn't have too much of a personality, at least in my opinion. He didn't have too much of a personality when he was first doing YouTube videos. He was just making interesting content. So it's like, even if you don't have that much of a personality, as long as you have good ideas, yeah. you can go like many no, places, he, he like right, right. Right. somewhere, so, um, and money. He was a genius about what he did, though. He had a lot of money. But it's pretty much just like investing in something, like, big time. Yeah, like, he invested a lot of time. Like, listening to It's Every Day, bro, for like 10 hours straight, he invested a lot of time into his videos. Dude. A lot of time. He just, he just, just a lot of life <laughs> like, yeah. sells, too. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Like, Mr. Beast, he just does things that nobody would do on a regular basis. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's just regular. Really, you don't need to be rich. It's just like, he just challenges himself yeah. and his friends. Like, they went through, like, I think it was like, Hardee's or something, like, um, like, like a thousand times yeah, yeah. in one that day. Was insane. Yeah. But that <laughs> costs money. Yeah. Yeah. And then like, they bought a whole house for the pizza delivery guy. That's like, yeah. Like, those ones cost more. Yeah, 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 yeah. But there's been times where it was like sitting in a circle. circle for party. Yeah, yeah. That was. Or the pool. Or like oh, running on a treadmill. Like, yeah, the pool one he wasn't even running on a treadmill. So like, yeah. yeah. I don't know how like like you get so like wrinkly and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, exactly. Yeah, he felt weak. Same with the slime video that he was like when he was in slime for that was ridiculous. But no, yeah, he's he's really smart. He, he's one he's of never the, worked another job. Yeah, that's the he's, he's done. one of the smartest YouTubers if you really think about it. Cause he got big, quick, easy, and he's just like growing. So like a little bit so you can be in that. Oh am I not in the picture? No, no, no. Oh, oh you know. Oh, sorry, guys. it's just a talking thing. Oh, I'm talking thing. <laughs> Um, so I'm still the that was only what matters right now. <laughs> for you guys who have been here for the podcast, you guys know that we usually live stream on you know. Um, by the way, um, John, we'll have John's uh, all his information, social media is all in the description below. Um, but yeah, back to this topic about like um, YouTube. Um, you don't you say you don't think YouTube is the best place to post content. What do you think? Yes. No, well, obviously there's no other place, but I'm just saying I wish it was better. I wish there was another platform that could take over for YouTube. And Vimeo. Like, just, huh? Vimeo. Oh, we talked about it too. <laughs> Vimeo uh, I, I, I was watching a Rob Deerdeck episode from a while ago. He posted a video of Chanel getting on the, the Rhino, and it was like, yeah, it's like Vimeo. It's like, it wasn't even popular back then. <laughs> Dude, that's Vimeo's always shitty. been so whack. Yeah. That, that was also something that got me into. Uh, doing videos is Rob Deerdeck because he was just like living that life you know and just making videos and making stuff out of it and like Robin Big and stuff R.I.P. the big big boy boink boink kiss or whatever but it was uh like, you know who you also come about me of like kind of like Smosh how they kind of became like a community of friends that just make skits yeah yeah they all make skits so I found that pretty but that was gonna be boring yeah. <laughs> she yeah. she's been acting a fool I know some people do be like comparing me to that or comparing us you know to that but yeah <laughs> It's really just like it is, it is. It is skits and gaming. I mean, like, yeah, it's smosh games straight up. I mean, that's what people do on YouTube. Like, that's funny, right? Though. Yeah, there's a lot of videos that I want. I have like, but we also do um, the gang episodes and stuff. Yeah, and I, I think that's really cool. Like, y'all write a whole script and you know, take time to I, film the whole thing like professionally. Kind of, you know? Um, but Macho, uh, my partner, my like co-partner. I'm, co I'm, I'm actually gonna cut you off here. I hate how podcasts have to be live. Like they, I hate how we have to close my dog being. Know, yeah. That's that's. It's well, honestly, fine, though. that's I'll just like, a part of the craft. It, of it. Yeah, yeah. It, it shows that it's real. Yeah, it shows that we're based, we're real life people. <laughs> you know, who's, because we tell our audience that you eventually will see us like, you know, upgrade like slowly, dramatically. That's how. Eventually, we're doing, yeah. like, I will have our own studio room. I will have to have my dog barking. <laughs> Like, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, go. We got a cat, so it doesn't bark anymore. <laughs> when you got a cat, you're like, BORK! <laughs> you know, like, go to the dog, the cat. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's like, boom. Like, really loud. It's actually like a favorite. The, the sky it just keeps you up. It keeps you up at night. Like, that'd be so annoying. But Dude, that's fine. It wouldn't even have to be like, honestly, it was just any exotic like, animal. A two clock. You can't say in this building. Um, what are those things that went extinct? The dodo birds. Dodo birds. Koala. Did you say koala? <laughs> oh my god. How no. about the guys in Australia, man? Dude. I feel so bad. Oh, yeah. But okay, so no, I okay. Listen, <clears throat> I understand that like that that topic got big, right? Yeah, yeah. But like. That happens in Australia every year. <laughs> Everyone should know that. It does. Like, it happens hot. every year. It's just that was the time of the year where it happened, but it just got a little bit bigger this year. It's yeah. Because of global warming, yeah. 
But it was like it's just normal. People are freaking out so bad. Like, it happens every year. Australian YouTubers, you don't see it's, any of them yeah, complaining it's, about it's it. It's like what happens is like social media will pick that one topic that they want to just make huge. Dude, yeah. okay, and they do it. Like, okay. dude, like, yeah, you're right. Like, same with the Amazon rainforest. Like, how that caught fire. It was pretty bigger than usual, mm. but like, it took them what three weeks or something. No, it's been burning for like a good month, maybe. Until people start making big yeah, just because one yeah, person yeah. was well, like, but, was, but like that, the whole problem with there is because the president didn't want to put it out. He did not want to. He true. wanted that land a lot of anyway. So if it burned down, he he wouldn't have to do any like contracts. Or anything. You know what uh, really upsets me though is that a billion um, got donated to rebuild the Notre Dame. A billion dollars. Yeah, it's that, like it's quite the yeah. iconic place. But though. the thing is, no. But the the thing is, like that there's like. Um, world hunger. You oh. know. There's a lot of history in Norway, but for a billion, for a billion to pour, yeah, no, a lot of money to, to somewhere, somewhere else. else. Exactly. But that yeah, is just, like it's a church. Like their whole concept is to like help those in need. Yeah, yeah. I, I, building a church is not helping those in need, but Ex- exactly. But for it to be a billion dollars, that's what they because that a lot more people are willing to donate. Though the church, sure. church is, the church also helps out with yeah. people who are you know poor yeah, and yeah. you know starving. But again, but there's no there's but, a lot of money going to things that but so, split it. Yeah, yeah. But honestly, like, would you guys donate to Nord Dame or to you know the Amazon resource? Like, I had to It depends on if Notre, you know, Notre Dame's got like a billion dollars and the other one doesn't. Like, no, I'm no, saying, like, if like you had a yeah, if he didn't, if it was no, both at zero, no they were both destroyed. All right, yeah. and um. <laughs> Yeah, I'd probably <laughs> give it towards the rainforest because that's our world and that's something we gotta keep, you know. Keep <laughs> that's what, okay, see, so yeah. that's my point. It's like that something like realistic, like that, like that has animals, people living in, compared to an older mm-hmm. building, like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like it burned down. It ain't the original. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah, it burned down multiple times. It's burned down, so it's like there's no rush to build it again because either way, it's something you can build again easily, you know. But rainforest that takes a lot of time mm-hmm. to come back, you that's know. True. And it's a kind of odd oxygen, you know? It's yeah. like 30%. Yeah. <laughs> 70 is from plankton in the ocean. Right? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
making videos and like trying to find times to work where available for each other. Mm -hmm. And do you like find? Do you still have that kind of like with you with being part of? Do you have more free time to do that? Now? I actually I do have a lot more free time, especially in the winter because like work is a little slow. Yeah. Because I work in like an outside place and you know all that stuff, but um. So I do have more time, and I do take advantage a lot more of the time. Yeah, that's what see, we talk about a lot. It's as you can see with the videos from 2019 or 2020 um, compared to 2019, there's been a lot more videos. It's been a lot more consistent, and I got another video already ready. And we also have, which Macho, he's the co, you know, he's if you weren't here earlier, he is a he's the co-owner or co, you know, captain oh, yeah. of the Pinky Out Gang, and um, he actually goes to UT you guys know that um, but he actually wrote a full script the full script to episode 3 of the game mm -hmm. which is the first time we've ever done that because we usually have a loose plan and then we just go off of just like improv and all that stuff and just like yeah. things that come up okay. um, but he actually wrote out the full script wow. and we have like the date we have all the people um, you said you had Thomas on an episode of um, yeah. Okay, he's actually going to be acting in that one. Yeah. So, and that is going to be filmed um, March 14th, 2019, or 2020. Yeah, we'll so make sure to... Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just, and I also have a question with them, like, so make it time. Um, I know you guys put out vlogs out there. Do you guys, and me and Isaac have, we're, we talked about making vlogs, and we eventually will, but right now we're not to the point where we're playing it, and I was wondering, like, how would, like, how did you plan your guys to watch? Did you guys, like, have a list of what you guys do throughout the day, or did you just pick up the camera? Um, it really depended. We don't do as many vlogs now um, as I want to, because I've really just, like, I've recently just wanted to enjoy the moment, you know, without the camera and stuff. And that's, you know, a main thing a lot of people want to do. Um, but, like, we have, instead of doing a vlog, um, well, let me go on to your topic first, but um, what we did for them is if there was, an, like, an event coming up that we really wanted to, like, do a vlog about, we just did it mm -hmm. and we just go off with you know real experiences real life things like going on and we just like then after that we put it in the editing and we just doom, 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 doom. like if you watch the Yu-Gi-Oh I don't know if you've watched the Yu-Gi-Oh video but we go to the movies and watch Yu-Gi-Oh and it's just like the whole time leading up and like oh one movie one theater doesn't have the movie and then we're like we gotta go to this one so then we had to go over there and we get these awesome cards and stuff it's a pretty entertaining video uh, I love doing that but recently I've just wanted to enjoy the time that I have with the people. Like when I went to Disney, it was my mm -hmm. first time going. I wanted to enjoy it. I still filmed quite a bit, and I might do something in the end. Is that the dog's ear? Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> I might. Get, um, I might uh, put it out, like the the clips that I had. But I don't think I'll put it on the channel. I'll put it on some personal social media stuff because a lot yeah, of it's about you my should, girlfriend. You just so. like about posting on Facebook. But see, I I understand have you seen that. Have you on Facebook? No, really? Yeah. Oh my god, I think I follow you, but I think... We have, like, uh, even more followers on Facebook than on Instagram. I think and... You, no, not and YouTube combined, but we have more than either one, so... Well, I, said, I think it'd be dope if you did vlogs on your YouTube channel mm -hmm. and then the gang on Facebook. I'm, um, I've kind of been, like... I don't know. I mean, what we do right now is we're, like, we post the video, and then, like, a week or two later, we post it on all the social medias, because we have it on IG, or, um, Instagram TV, too. Mm -hmm. So, we post it on Instagram and Facebook, because we have an audience on that, yeah. too, that aren't on YouTube, so it just gets our name out there more. Mm -hmm. And either way, like, again, we don't really care about being huge on YouTube at the moment, mm -hmm. so what we want to do is just, like, get our name out there, give people yeah. a smile on their face, and just, like... Just like, yeah. so, I'm, I'm sorry to bring this back to the topic, but like I completely understand too. Where like um, whenever you said you didn't want to really vlog like your first time with like your girlfriend in Disney World, because mm -hmm. sometimes like those moments are very like you know cherishable. You know, what I'm yeah. saying? you don't want to like put a camera in like someone's face during yeah, the wedding. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Those but, moments, like I even like whenever I took my girlfriend first time to Disney World, I wanted to vlog it. I took I took like I took pictures and photos like pictures, photos, and like, videos, yeah, but I never I never uploaded them. Like, and like, you know, I'm still like, like, yeah, I'm just looking at the stuff and I'm like, this is like personal stuff. It's not even really but like funny. But, but the thing is, when you think about it, vlogs, it's all about being personal. It's all about going through a person's it, yeah, life. I know, yeah. It, like, if you think like, like Logan Paul, like Jake Paul, like some of the biggest names in vlogging, 
they, they do every every, every okay. special moment. But right? you got but let's let's be real though, like vlogging like that, like con- like constantly is dangerous for your, your content. I, that, like no, it can be. Yeah, because well, the thing is, but Logan the, Logan didn't have to film him going through that forest. No, no, no. But the thing is, he could have filmed it. But the the thing is with YouTube is you have a chance to decide whether you're gonna put that online or not. Yeah. You can just keep that and delete it. If you like, if you know, uh, you get a video of you doing something wrong, or your friend's doing something mm-hmm. wrong, you can just delete that and put the rest in there. No one will ever know that. Oh, free. And a lot of people do that, you know, like, and I feel like a lot of YouTubers nowadays like do a lot of like crappy stuff, but get a lot of good content out of it. Mm-hmm. And just kind of the crappy parts. <laughs> but the thing is, like a, Jake Paul. a lot of stuff though comes from like, like how Logan Paul kind of ruined his rep- like his you yeah, know, reputation. Be- like a lot of that comes in play, like. And um, with like Jesse Williams, like if you guys ever knew who like BF versus GF was, like they spent ten years together and they vlogged every exactly, like, you know, it's and it ruined their relationship because they had to put fake faces on for the camera. You know, if yeah. you're getting an argument with like your girlfriends out there, you're not gonna put a face. You know, both guys have, have to. You know, it's it's act. rough. It's rough. It really just it, it changes who you are. Like exactly. you sometimes confuse your own like self. Yeah, well, that's which is super scary because like eventually like I know like with me and Isaac like I feel like we're gonna end up like just being stupid. That's how we're gonna act in both because yeah, yeah. we're so used to like thinking that camera's recording and we'll be like, dude, do something funny. Like you know, one of someone's recording a lot right now and we'll give you yeah. a million dollars. So if you do a backflip, do it. <laughs> I, I mean, but I do it though because it's content. That's what I'm trying to do. You yeah, know? Yeah. create content. At the end of the day, like it depends. Like at the end of the day, if you're doing it to be fake, right? Just because you like you know it's a good image and it's creating content for you, then like yeah, I understand. But if you're changing because you know you just want to create content, like yeah, you get to act stupid to create content. But <clears throat> it's just like what people do. But like it doesn't change who. I don't. Are, but though, the though. thing is, like I don't know, being fake comes to a certain extent. Like being, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna have a fake. I'm not gonna be like real nice on camera all the time and not be like be like if I had a shitty, I'm gonna come come into like this room and have a like have a shitty attitude. But it's gonna be real. I'm not gonna like you know you gonna see me happy. I upload it. The next day you see me yeah. and you st- you bring up conversation from that. I'm, I'm gonna end up punching in your face because you bring up something that's super personal to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like being fake to start, I, like I want to know my, my I want my audience to know if yeah, I'm yeah, upset. Of course, yeah. yeah I want to be as yeah. real as possible, not just for content. Like, I'm not trying to, like, you know... Click yeah, but, like, like, most people are like that. Most people aren't just, you know, gonna, like, straight up so do that to someone. the idea that me and Macho and Jones came up with, um, so we didn't have to, like... Because I feel like it also can, like, somewhat change who, like, how you act and stuff mm-hmm. with a camera in front of your face. Yeah. Even that even happens with me, and, like, I've been doing this stuff for a little bit. Um, <clears throat> but, I mean, you guys know that I'm crazy either way. Yeah, exactly. But I feel like I'm even more crazy without the camera on my face, because it's just, like... I don't have to. I don't feel like I have to like restrict myself to anything. And then, the the idea me, Macho, and Jones had was have our experience, get pictures, and have fun, and like get pictures. We have we we've been sitting on this idea for a while, um, which it might come out someday. But we have the whole story in our head. It is a funny story. Like it is a hilarious camping story. We have all these pictures and stuff. We have a little bit of clips, like little videos we post on Snapchat and stuff. What we're, we're gonna do is we're just gonna sit down on the couch. And the camera's gonna be honest, and we're just gonna talk about the experience. It's kind of gonna be like a, it's like a podcast, except for very condensed, and it'll have it'll like story be time. Yeah, it'll, yeah, it'll be story time, mm-hmm. and um, we're gonna like whenever we talk about certain events, we're gonna pop up the pictures and stuff. And it's, that's, 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 that's a good version of them. It's like, funny. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Me, and Isaac, have actually talked about that idea. Is that like some days, like throughout the week, um, like in one day of the uh, one day of the week in our, one of our vlogs, we should do a story time. time. Yeah, just, and just like just laugh at that. like yeah. nobody has like something that maybe we couldn't get up okay. Honestly, yeah. we should do story time, but like you guys ever, you guys remember draw my life whenever that was big on YouTube? You should yeah. draw my story. You know what I'm saying? That could be so. That would be really, really cool. cool. Yeah. But the thing is, I feel like that's really hard content to make unless you could be a. Unless yeah, you're like I mean, a I mean, really good slash shitty designer. Yeah, Animating, um, me and Macho have thought about that because, you know, we both do, we both animate stuff while we yeah. both draw and stuff. Yeah, yeah, um, uh, we've thought about that too, but like really simple animation, just like s- stupid videos we can just pump out, you know, but there's still like, there's still a lot of heart into it and story, yeah. you know what I mean? And, uh, I mean, I've seen plenty of channels do it. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I never realized how um how 
entertaining and like making like a real life character is like watching a real like a real life character and then being cartoon like being cartoons like yeah. that's, that entertains people like Van Ross Gaming how they started doing like their little freaking you know, uh, cartoon, cartoon thing cool. no, um let me go back to like one of these old YouTubers Toby Turner and he used to do <laughs> yeah. um, what Advent- is or, uh, Toby Turner Toby, Toby Adventure or yeah Adventure <laughs> but yeah but it, like oh Tobuskis Adventure yeah yeah that's what it was but like you never realize how <laughs> Inventive. <laughs> <laughs> people like people want to see like you like end up in shitty drawing for some reason. I know it's funny though. I mean, like but even me, yeah. I find it like awesome. Like seeing myself as a drawing would be sick. Yeah, like a yeah. whole cartoon. Like oh, yeah. j- j- uh, Macho does do like these little drawings from like scenes from the game. Like yeah. I have a picture in my room, um, and I don't know if it's in any videos, but it's of the clip from the game, which you should watch. You should watch all the videos that are coming out now. Of um, me and him going like this because that's our like signature thing. Yeah. Just looking at each other, and I'm like, "Well, I'm, I'm my own character because it's like I'm seriously like I am a different character when I do this." <laughs> of course, because you're acting. Well, I think it's more educating that way because like us three, no one here can draw a picture of yourself like like really good, or even it turned out to be shitty to even be half as good. I feel like it's more entertaining whenever you realize that it's possible to have a picture of a cartoon of you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, true. Yeah. Dude, John, like, John has his fucking watch. <laughs> and, and it, what is it? Projects. Can we turn off the light real quick? Oh, uh, you right. have to do it on the couch. Do it on the couch because I'll get the camera. Oh, oh, you know. oh, you didn't see it? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but that's freaking Thor. Sick! <laughs> that's hard. Alright, there's no more for that. No, but that's... Welcome to the sleep stream. <laughs> We're all just sleeping in a room. But, <laughs> yeah, even it's going to be funny because people who don't watch it and just hear this. I mean, they, they, oh. they're not gonna know what it was. It was dark in here. Okay, you guys already know. It's the day of the you fucking check if the camera's still yes. recording. Did you have know how it is. We recorded for an hour and a half one time. And it did not record. Yeah, yeah. You, have you ever been into that situation? Um, so. Actually, the other day, me and Macho were making an episode, um, and we need to come up with a name. It's the. Um, we watched the Lego Star Wars video. Yes. I don't know, if you watched the Lego Star Wars video, me and him were playing Lego Star Wars together. Um, we were doing Mario instead, and he was just like busting my chops. Like he was killing me and stuff, he was picking me up, throwing me down the holes. I, I'm not good at Mario. I've never played the, on the Switch before. And um, and it was all real reactions and stuff. Really? We go back. James, I hope you can hear this. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm still listening. Yeah. Um, but like we go back, we're looking at the clips, you know, we're like all pumped up. He's like, "That was good, man. That was good take. That was awesome." <laughs> we look at it. The mic wasn't recording. Like it was like it was recording, but it wasn't recording our voice. Like it was going like, <laughs> and all you could hear was like the gaming, and then like whenever we we're supposed to talk, the game turns down automatically because yeah. that's what you know capture card does. Um, but it like turned down, and I was just like, "Where's our voices?" <laughs> and then we we're like, "Oh," and we had to do it again. I guess it didn't do it again, but halfway through I checked it and I was like, dude, it's still not working. I was like, dude, we're done, man. Like, yeah, you know what? One problem being as a kind of trouble a lot. What? In our probably our biggest enemy story. Yeah, straight story. Like, what do you yeah. do? What do you do? What do you, I um. You got an external hard drive. You, got, I, you know, we really just like. It's been like times when we've had like storage fall up, you know, all mm-hmm. the way up, but um with. Our videos aren't as big as yours, you know, whenever yeah. you're making those, like, ours are a lot shorter. Like, true. Longest video would be, like, um, 30 minutes, and we just either put it into Google Photos or do something with it. Yeah. But I've never run into the situation where it's, like, been dire, you know? Yeah, but, like, the thing that he told me today about how I, he changed my thing, that we had that 4K, 60 frames per second. And which actually, that, that is a big a, deal. That, that is, is a so whole lot of video. Mm-hmm. And changing it to 1080p at 30 frames per second, that's, like... Going from like here to like here, yeah. that's a big gap. Yeah. From my uh, latest video of Tough Talk, first video, if you're with us right now, it's me, Captain Cool, James, <laughs> and your boy Isaac. He's over here, just you can trust me, he's right here. <laughs> um, on my latest uh episode of Tough Talk, um, I did three takes and I checked the first take. And I've learned from my experience because we had also me and Macho had an update video and it wouldn't send over because we did it in 4K and I think 30 FPS. And then I was like, dude, that sucks. It's not sending over. And then we, uh, well, then I did the tough talk, like first take. It was in 4K. It wouldn't send over. 
and then I did it the second time and it could send over but it was like 10 minutes long like straight up me talking um, like the raw footage of the third take was 6.33 like I talked for like just a little bit and I, I, could, I condensed it down as much as I could like that was all like quick stuff going on so I didn't take up it I didn't take up any storage there like you get your point out you're done with that you send the video over like that thing was literally it was 800 and something killer I swear, I'll look it up right now. Yeah, look it up, please. No, okay, but um, I was gonna bring up another point about space, but space, the final frontier. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's a new. That's a topic we can talk about. I'm just kidding. I don't wanna. Um, let me just check this. Oh quick. no, yeah, but what I was gonna bring up is like the difference between like what we film and how you film is like you gotta think like you take cuts right like i said so you can take that and then send it over and then take the next yeah. part and then send. It over. But, but we have to send yeah, a whole yeah, yeah. full yeah another thing we don't really we used to take cuts but now we're like it's a lot easier to edit to just have one like straight up thing but we like again our videos aren't as long like ours yeah. are a lot shorter if i could find where this video and like some of y'all are like pretty long but it's just like the fact that like Y'all can like y'all take a lot of film, mm -hmm. but don't you like all the time. So do you, you know. just use like your so you still film a lot? Do you use your computers or your laptops just like hard drive to like store your videos? Or do you um, just put it on? We don't. We okay. So a lot of what we do, um, we put it on Premiere Pro, mm -hmm. and we work on that project. And if we film again, which we don't like film and have like a we don't have a backlog like we want to yeah, anymore, yeah. but um, like we have at multiple times, but. Like, we film, have the footage, edit the video, be done with it, delete the footage, start filming again, have the footage, or we just put it on Premiere Pro, and we have it, like, ready to edit. Oh. And, like, that, it sticks on that, and it doesn't take up that much storage, you know? Mm -hmm. So, it's it's there, you know? Yeah, it's yeah. ready for us to edit, and if we want to go back to it, we can. So, is it, like, is, do you, you basically call, like, um, Macho your techno guy, or do you guys both work on like, We both work on it. it. Is he, like, equally though? So, because Isaac does a lot of like the editing and like if we need to do anything like on there, I just give him hints and tips. But like he's much more better like with like being on the keyboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, cause, yeah. Because Isaac does. He this does is what I, I. That's what I like to do. And that's what got yeah. me into this whole thing. You know. And that brings us to point. Like, um, <clears throat> whenever you guys started this, did you guys have like specific tasks? Um, um, or did you guys were just like you? We're just gonna fucking put a camera on us and do whatever the fuck you want. You know. I. Mean, <sighs> Unless you guys have, you guys like sit down like ask them, like you know I know some so, some people like just talk about like, personality traits like what like yeah, how yeah. you want to act so my straight up first videos I just put a camera in front of me and I just did the stupidest things like original videos indoor Olympics that was an idea I got from Mr. <laughs> I saw that indoor video. fucking I Olympics did front flips and then landed on my back a bunch of times and that's pretty much straight up all I did. Um, and that's that's where I like that's so, what's so great to me that like the fact that you've been making videos for so yeah, long. They, you can tell yeah, like you can better. tell that you've had that drive for a long, long time yeah. just for this specific, you know, like social media type, you know, making yeah. content for people left. To. So also want to talk about this. Like I bet you since you've been doing videos from like way, way back, like. You can tell your quality, like, of video. Oh, yeah. Has changed. Oh, yeah. And that's you can the definitely thing. tell. Yeah. <laughs> My that's the video. thing that me and Isaac haven't run into yet, but I know we will. Yeah. You know, like, you like, like first videos were in black and white, I think. Really? What did you, just, what'd you record on? <laughs> okay, so, first first video I ever recorded, I don't think I had an iPhone at the time. I might, uh, no, okay. So, I had a Samsung Galaxy. S3. Oh my god. <laughs> and if you go back and watch the footage, I didn't know how to like post it correctly. So whenever like uh the like whenever I was moving the phone, you could see like on YouTube that the whole screen was like moving and wobbling around. And, like, and then I went on to it and I fixed it up. So now that doesn't happen, but it's like that's What is this guy with the fucking boat? <laughs> yeah. I know, like the whole screen shook. Like it was like another dimension. Like it was insane. I'm like, yeah. dude, I'm just, dude, I'm just, how am I supposed to watch this video? Shake your head back and forth. Yeah, yeah, just, 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 okay, guys. So before you watch this video, make sure you leave a like. Um, also, shake your head like this, like the whole, the whole video, because that's pretty much how it's going to be. You watch the whole experience. Dude, enter a different dimension and it'll be. <laughs> It won't be shaking. <laughs> so, like, with that being, do you were your videos just as long as today? Like, did you uh, like? You know, uh, wait, your videos could have been, your videos had been shorter way back then. They took, we have, we they took have. like two seconds to be like make, and then I mean I put effort into them. Yeah, yeah. But I was really just like, dude, this is gonna be funny. This is gonna be fun. I thought it was so easy to just make a video. I have one video 
I think it's Indoor Olympics 3. I like talked about it There's earlier. There's three of us, three of them, baby. It's a sequel. <laughs> There's fucking yeah, three of them. Most ambitious sequel since um, <laughs> Star Wars prequels. Um, so, yeah, the first, or the, one of the first ones, it was like 46 seconds long. And I didn't edit them. But then I started like, um, I forget which video was my first, but I started editing the videos. I started putting more effort into them. Mm. And I started making the thumbnails. And the thumbnails I thought were funny. I think there's one, I made one video, had a thumbnail. I had a vlog, it was my second vlog I ever made. Never put, well I posted it, but I had to take it down, all right? Cause it was a little too inappropriate, you know? Um, <laughs> like it should, be, it should belong in Pornhub kind of? No, 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 no. no. But it, was just, it was just, it was inappropriate and it was like, kind of stupid. And yeah. so I was just like, you know what? Take it down. I took it down, only a few people watched it. Um, but it was the second video I've ever had that had a thumbnail, like a cool thumbnail picture and stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a big deal, you know? In my history, I'm gonna look back on that and be like, dude, Thumbnail number two, <laughs> taken down. Never seen. Yeah, so like with that, do you freaking um, do you like look up? Do you, I want to say like, maybe like try getting some of these mother YouTubers on how they film like their kind of content stuff like that. Um, so I just you know I'm like anybody else. I watch YouTube. I you know I'm just like yeah, it's fun you know. And I sometimes just I don't really think about it, but I'm like I get ideas from them. But I put them in the videos and I'm like, oh, geez, that's exactly what this one guy did. And there's sometimes where it's like, there's the, the certain way this guy censored videos made me giggle, you know? So yeah. I, I censored the video. Yeah, I, yeah, I, know. I mean, you hear yeah, a bunch I, of people saying, yeah. like, the oof sound effect. And but stuff. yeah, like, I, when I was watching, like, if you watch the videos, you can tell, like, I instantly, like, saw it. I was like, dude, I instantly thought it was different. Like, YouTuber that does, like, gaming videos, like, you know those ones we watch about, like, um, like Rainbow Six Siege with like the yeah. it has, when they talk it has the uh -huh. subtitles yeah those and those yeah. me and James always laugh at those I was like this is quality yeah. content so. yeah so what about with like vlogging though like do you like how do you vlog like do you because I like like whenever I think of vlogging like I picture a lot mine like more cinematic like if you know case yeah yeah, yeah yeah or do you like film yours how like just freaking David Dobrik does it just film like the goofiest moments nah, like, dude, there was one there was one video um that I watched a long time ago, and they were doing this like they had this song going and stuff. I was like, dude, I kind of like this. It was like, and I liked, I love, I'm more of a cinematic type guy, but I have, I'm kind of a mix of both. Like it's either cinematic clip or it's straight funny, straight up, yeah, yeah, straight funny or something stupid going on. You know, like yeah. I had um, when I went to Disney, I had a nice cinematic um, of just the beach, me and Naomi sitting down, just like looking out at the water, but then. A seagull comes in, like I'm throwing food at Naomi, so the seagull comes in attack her. And that was like funny. Like, That's freaking great. I have, this, I have the video and stuff, and you can see the seagull like flying at her. That would be great content. I gotta, I'll, I mean, I'll probably post it somewhere at one point, either YouTube, awesome. Facebook, something like that, and I'll edit it up and yeah. I'll post it. But it's just, I don't think it's YouTube worthy, you know? But it's mm. something that I feel like should be somewhere. Yeah, but if people would have put like, different clips from the whole trip you could have maybe made like a four minute like yeah on vlog because that's how long david dobrik did i just feel like it's very like repetitive with the scenes like it's a lot of just it's like typical white girl taking a picture of the the, the magic kingdom you know it's yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Bing, bing, bing. it's a bunch of like clips like that of just like walking around disney stuff yeah, walking yeah. Around that's disney how stuff. but if you make it cinematic people love to watch that Oh, no. That's, that's the thing. No that's what I'm thinking. No one wants to watch like a normal, just like. But if you were gonna do a cinematic type of like, you know, views. Well, you could always stuff. add. You could always make combination too. I mean, it'll make a, yeah. it'll be a little more effort, but you could at least hide. I tell you this, guys. In there. Um, really, if you make any content, this is one thing I said when I made the the Star Wars Republic Commando one. Is mm -hmm. I was like, dude, this content is booty cheeks. <laughs> All right, I was like, dang. And then I like. <laughs> And then it was right after I recorded, I was like, there's not enough funny stuff. And then I was like, Tommy, editing's going to have to carry this video on its shoulders. And I was just like, throw it on the editing board, you know. And he saw the outcome. So most people, like a lot of people have seen that one. That's a, it's a very popular video. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, compared to the recent ones we put out. And um, it is pretty funny. If you're watching with us, I'm Johnny. I'm Johnny. I'm Johnny. I'm gonna do that again. I'm Johnny Ray, <laughs> Kevin Cool, you know the deal. This is my boy James. I'm on their beautiful, uh, beautiful podcast. And, um. Um, Pants. Okay. Well, appreciate that. She invited, um, who was that? What's your name? Um, Krusty the Panda invited okay. 792 fans. Well, hopefully they all join. Thank you for that. That would be amazing. <laughs> um, and this is my boy Isaac. So, um, what were you? Okay, I was. 
where we're at vlogs. Talking about cinematics. how videos, how yeah, yeah, I yeah. can carry a video with editing. And I put all that editing in it. It's on YouTube. People like it. Mostly just like Republic Commando is like a game that people thought was cool, but yeah, yeah. not a lot of people played it. And I some people don't even exist. It just seems like a really They didn't even know it exists. It's an old Halo. That's all it is. It's pretty much Star Wars. It's true. Sure, it's, yeah. it's amazing. Um, wow. But I played that game. I made it interesting. There's some cringy moments in it, but it's like I'm still growing. You know, it was my first video yeah, exactly, to do. Yeah. It was my first alone video to do gaming. You know? And I think you did great. You know, especially for your first video. Because you got to start somewhere. You can't just start making just yeah. super great cinematic yeah, yeah. videos. You know, like right after that too, I made. I was just like, because I'm very inconsistent with the same exact type. But yeah. I want people to be like from all areas to be like, hey, this is a cool video, and then be like, hey, this is a funny video. It's like that's totally different. Like. The, the difference between the video game, like the Star Wars game, compared to the Call of Duty video I came out with. Yeah, like, yeah. Call of Duty video is like Soldier 76 and Overwatch, you know? Like, that's a good video. Yeah, yeah. Some people that just like mm -hmm. intense Call of Duty gameplay, you know? And it was very intense. Yeah, I still think it's intense. It's a good video, but it's not very, like, it didn't didn't hit too many people, but it didn't matter because I, like I had a lot of fun. Like you like the other one. Yeah. 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 Well, see, how I see it with, like, YouTube and, like, making content, if it, if it you know, it, no matter if it's a vlog or like you know playing video games, you're always want to like add something that like that people like your fan wants like needs to know about you. Like if you love like cin like cinematic like stuff, you're gonna add that to your video. If you, oh, you yeah. want to be goofy, you gotta add goofy stuff. Too. And you know that kind of just like helps figure people out that this is the stuff you're into without actually telling mm -hmm. them. Yeah. But, like like I want to ask you like you add like whole bunch of anime stuff like okay. memes yeah. and stuff. Oh, that's videos. so yeah. funny that you brought that up. Um, so if I ever try to add any like cinematic stuff, I just add like with the video games you can't really add too much. You just add like music and stuff and make it like cool looking, you know. Yeah. Like, and then it goes with the music. But um, what I even tell Macho is like, dude, I sneak in one little thing that's like it makes it mine, you know. Like I know it's even if it's yeah. me and Macho's both. Like when we started editing like together, that Star the Lego Star Wars video, I I added a little anime girl like, oh my gosh, like <laughs> poke me in the butt. It was like a blushing anime girl. Um, in the Republic Commando video, this person gets like snatched out of the plane. And I'm just like, ah, you know, like, and it's an anime girl. It's terrifying. <laughs> uh, the Call of Duty video, oh, I know I added one. I might have. No, you had did to. I, not? Oh, I, think I, did. Yeah, I think it was the more serious one, so I don't think you did. Okay, yeah, maybe. But, I don't know, maybe the end. And my recent. Yeah. I thought I did more than one. Alright, my recent video. I added like a bunch. Like, yeah, you put them. I cool. was either uh, I was either one or two. It wasn't as much as I thought, but I, I mean they're they're out there. I always add a little bit, yeah. you know, a little bit of my personality into it. Like my the whole last episode of the show that I just came up with is called Tough Talks. Captain Cool, Johnny Ram, you know the deal. Um, it is about uh, Happy Meal toys and like Burger King and the comparison between both. And I was like, that was strange. Hold on, yeah. Some girl commented, "Do you have?" IG, I can invite more people to come come check out your podcast if you like. Um, we actually do have an IG. I'm sorry, I'm gonna take advantage of that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't mean to, but um, uh, yeah. If you click on our You Now profile for uh, conversations from above, everything in our description and our bio is our IG, um, you know, information where to find us on Twitter and Instagram. Um, but yeah, go on. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, I uh, I always add. Like, that whole video was my childhood, and I know a lot of people can relate to it. Because, I mean, I there's some things I left out that I really wanted to add because I know a lot of people had, like, those little toys from McDonald's, those games. Dude, those oh games. Yeah, see, I should have added them, and I was going to in, like, the post when I was, like, thinking about it. I was, like, writing down, like, what I was going to talk about and stuff. And I have this list of episode ideas for, like, just skits and stuff. And I, I write down, like, what this stuff I'm going to talk about in the next yeah, episode. Yeah. So I wrote down next to it. I was like, dude, make sure I talk about this. But then I instead talked about um, video games that Burger King Burger King came out with, which were like five dollars extra. Yeah. And like there was that Sneak King game, and yeah. it, it was dude. straight up Xbox Three Sixty. Yes. Yeah. They used to sell them at GameStop for like fifty nine cents. I know. Around. They're yeah. still so cheap. Yeah. So if I ever hey, if, if if I ever want to make like a gameplay of that, like I gotta get a bunch of likes on that video. Yeah. Like I might put it in the description. You should one hundred percent get a game. I should. I would love to watch that. Would be that so Sneak game. King, dude. That was my brother's game, but I was I was all about the pocket racing game. Dude, I've never played that one. Just played that. Dude, game. yeah, with the bikes. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, dude. Yes, sir. I don't know what the other one was though. I don't um, remember. We had three in total, right? Yeah. The sneaking king was pretty crazy. Sneaking king was uh, pretty yeah, cool. that, was, that, was, that, that was, was crazy. All the different levels yeah. and stuff. Yeah. And hiding in the bushes. It was Assassin's Creed before Assassin's Creed. Yeah, pretty, that pretty is much. Insane. That was I mean, it. 
Dude, going back to like older technology, like I'm so glad we grew up with that. Shit. I know. Yeah. I'm glad we grew up. GameCube mm-hmm. has to be one of the best consoles ever. Paper GameCube Mario. definitely is, because they have like, freaking so much nostalgia. Yeah, Mario Party Sunshine or Mario Sunshine, the freaking Mario Party games with the yeah. mic. Dude, Donkey dude. Kong with the bongo. Dude, freaking battling Pokemon to go cold. Mm. Do you remember them days? I just got um one game. Like I remember when I first got into Pokemon, which was like 2013. Which I was into it a little bit, but I got like really into it. I was watching the anime, I was doing all that stuff. The anime is it's good, but it's definitely far from the best thing that Pokemon is. Because mm-hmm. um, I have like the cards and stuff. But um, I played a game called Pokemon Pinball. And I was playing like the, uh, just like the one on my tablet. So it was like, you know, I got it all on, on, online. And then um, recently I went to this guy's house and he had Pokemon Pinball. Like the original, with, and it's it was on the Game Boy, oh, and it yeah. has a rumble pack, dude. And it's like the first time I've ever seen a, a Game Boy game with a rumble pack, and you have to put this AAA battery in it, and every time you like, <laughs> no way. It's so cool. I get it. You guys gotta play it. It's it's That's really cool. I wish I brought it, but I mean, dude. obviously, I don't know like, so that there's another game that kind of had some like weird technology to where you had to play it in the sun. Like it had like a fat back and it was like a little solar panel and so it was not getting it's like, like sunlight. Yeah. Sun. <laughs> so it was not getting sunlight, you couldn't play the game. Yeah. It was crazy. so weird. I mean, yeah, like Game Boy did a lot of the stuff. The Game Boy camera? Dude. <laughs> what? I never had it, but that was like your pixelated face yeah. just like on the screen. That was like so Nintendo cool. has always been their own game. They've always had their own like thing going on. Their technology has always been Like I t- I you guys probably heard of this from a recent um podcast, but like I, I tell Isaac all the time, like I'm just, like I, I needed a switch because I'm fucking I had it I had a switch light and I didn't realize like how good it was. So I sold it after two days. I borrowed Isaac Switch for like a week, I fell in love with it. Like everything about the switch was like completely like out of this world, like no one would have thought, like this device you would carry two K around with you and mm-hmm. play wherever you want. You play Mario Kart with a bunch of friends at it's school. It's so cool. I love yeah. the idea. Nintendo, yeah. they exactly. innovate so much. Yeah, exactly. Which even on like their the three DS, which I had, mm-hmm. I loved. Like all the games they had were like th- the three D. First off, yeah. I don't. I just skipped over yeah. the name. But after, yeah, it well. was a novelty. But like in the XL when that came out, like Face Track, mm-hmm. that was cool. Yeah, that actually yeah. made me motion sick. But you know what did fail is the Wii U. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fail. but I mean you gotta fail to succeed. You know? You're right. It went out the Wii U. Straight that up. Would, yeah. That wouldn't be the Switch. Straight up. Because <laughs> <laughs> they really did kind of just remolish. Yeah, yeah. The whole Wii U because it was just like a tablet type console. Yeah. Except for now it's like updated. It's yeah. got little things. It's more portable. Mm-hmm. I just really thought about this, but like whenever. I'm sorry for the just like completely going on a topic, but sorry, that's how podcasts go. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah. yeah, let's get back on topic. So making content, like whenever people think about podcasts, you think of it to be serious, you know, conversation. Now, I'm not to say like all the time, but yeah. just, but usually you talk about you know real life problems, you know, like situations. But and like it causes like a serious, it causes a serious thing. But now the only like one thing that me and Isaac want to do are vlogs. So like. It's kind of weird to have like a podcast and have goofy vlogs, you know, because yeah. it's not two things that people like really like. Like Casey Neistat, his it's, vlogs it's are serious. One person's gonna watch something and then another person's gonna watch. Yeah, it's like these guys are like. But like that can appeal to like multiple. Like one person could like like different like Logan Paul and Casey Neistat. They're two totally different yeah. types of. Or like Casey Neistat and like yeah, yeah. Anos Gaming, you know. Yeah, because like because you kind of like base off yourself and your personality and like your content based off how you act. You know, like me and Isaac are two different settings all the time. Mm-hmm. Serious outside here, you know, we're goofing around. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, whenever we get in here, you know, it, it's a business, it's a job. You want to act serious, you want to like, you know, set. And like, I was wondering, like, with your like content, you know, what I'm saying, like, did you always want it to be goofy, or do you ever want to have serious moments? Where, um, like, you know, it's really just. So I did this thing with Macho because he called me down to like UT and stuff, and he wanted me to help out. It's his like his his, his news channel thing that he does. Yeah. UT because he's in charge of a lot of stuff down there, mm-hmm. and I am like straight up. First off, I'm trying to make people smile. You know, I do. You know, I do have serious moments. I want to be serious. I want to just like, but my serious moments are more like heartfelt. Like they're yeah. talking about like friendship and stuff. Like if you yeah. watch the gang, the episode two, Macho did a really good job of that. At the end of that, um, but I've had to do stuff like either on the radio because with my dad, you know, I've had to do stuff with him on the radio. And on Macho's show, I had to 
like two like back to forth news things like me I'm the funny guy that just came in you know I don't go to the school I'm just the random guy here I didn't do a story about a blackface incident that happened at UT mm. and um, one of the professors died like the year before wow. and I was straight up just like this is what happened like keeping a straight face you know like because like me coming down to see him that's all like happy stuff like I haven't seen him in a while and then I had to just change mentalities I was just like all right I'm serious yeah so yeah I mean that's just how it is but like, like you like to create more just crazy happy, funny happy you know, just put a smile on someone's yeah. face exactly and that's what it's all about really if that's how, yeah, if that's how you want to end your day really you know what I'm saying you can, you can honestly pose like a serious like video and then like and then the end of the day you know some inspirational motivation maybe some goofy yeah. to make make something yeah. that's how I kind of really want yeah con- like mm-hmm. content should be really yeah there's some like and you know, I really started anime, or not anime, I'm getting on a different topic, but I started um, doing YouTube, like, around the time I started watching anime, yeah. and it was, like, because a lot of the times, like, there's a show, it's called Fully Cooly, I don't know if you guys have ever watched it, it's, like, ridiculous stuff, and it's, with a lot of anime, it's not just that, it's, like, Evangelion, it's a lot of the stuff, it has deeper meaning, but it's so ridiculous, you know, mm-hmm. Fully Cooly, it's about this kid, he's got freaking stuff coming out of the side of his head, it's about him maturing as a person and growing up. And like you, these people are so smart. Like it's yeah. like, geez, like that's really deep stuff. And it's such a funny. It's by Gynax, which they make a lot of like new stuff that's really cool. Yeah. Like if you guys have watched any of their stuff. Like what? What are they stuff? Even Gillian, Kill a Kill has a really deep message. That was by them. Yeah, um, Darling the Franks. Uh, except for it's like. It's Gynax, but it's Trigger now. So, like, uh, Kill a Kill was made by Trigger, but it was Gynax. And uh, Girl and God, awesome meaning to these shows that are so ridiculous. Yeah, and I think that's why I, that's why I always talk about how much I appreciate anime, because I think they do such a good storytelling, because, like, they get you in the character's yeah. head. Like, in that, like, people make fun of it, it's like, oh, they take, like, 30 episodes to do a fight, because, like, throughout the whole time. Yeah, but, you know, you know, <laughs> you know what I actually enjoy the most of anime that. Like other shows, is that the thoughts in their head? Like, yeah, exactly. Like, that's what I'm the saying. Full, Walking the full conversation really, a lot more. They, yeah, on yeah, top exactly. of that, no, they do a really good. Like they do a good job hiding that person's emotion, even though you're hearing it through the head. They can carry on that person's like background, like you know, like in their head, which you, you know, eventually, you should, whenever you hear someone talking in their head, you should know and see what they're about to do. Yeah. But what anime does is they're able to create a whole story. While this person doesn't even have to make, you know, like, yeah, it stops time, so this exactly. person, this person can tell you like what's going on. It, t- it lets you tell can... that their story first before anybody else, yeah. you know, which is and super. It gets smart. you connected. It's to really it. cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it gets you connected to. Them. And I think that's the reason why like some animes like get you attached to emotion. It's because you know what the, like that character feels like. They mm-hmm. talk that like, like you feel you felt their emotion. Yeah, they kind of like the main characters isolate you, for, like you know, what I'm saying like with Naruto, like I'm just, like I just started getting on Naruto, and I never realized how like. How like goofy Naruto is like, dude. I was like, who's who is this man? Like, I'm like, I'm, like, I wish my friends acted like this. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. like, he's goofy, but he's so determined. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And you get to have those two. Not a lot of the main characters from those. Exactly. Shows, like, uh, Natsu. Um, ah, dude, Chico, I love Natsu. Um, Just our friend from Comic Con. Bla- Black uh, Clover main character. I've not oh. watched the show yet. Should I watch the show? Yes. Okay, you should, so you should. I should. All right. So back on topic. I didn't watch those openings. Yeah. And they're yeah. sticking. Yeah. That's a good show. The third opening and the tenth opening are just like. Dude, oh, you have to watch. Dude, it. one thing, fucking me, I didn't love it. Like off, like off the bat, it's fucking Scissor Seven. Yeah, Kill Seven. Seven. Yeah, which yeah. was it's so much. Which I, when you, when he brought it up to me the first time, like I was like that day, I was watching a video about like Netflix anime and like all that stuff. Yeah, and I was like. I was like, I've never even heard of this one. And it's because Netflix just does not know how to advertise it. Yeah. And I know, like, I've seen some stuff from it. I haven't watched it yet, but I know it's ridiculous and it's very artistic and stuff. Mm, so and good. I was like, Scissor 7, you know, I looked it up on Netflix. I found it. I looked it up on my anime list and I was like, what, what is this? And I was like, it's not even here. And then it's because it was under a different name because it's Killer 7. Mm-hmm. Or, um, I forgot if it was Killer's. Yeah, it's Killer Seven. All right. I just I yeah, yeah. mixed up yeah. before, and I told him about that because he brought it up. Well, to with me. that show, it it changes the whole perspective of like anime to me. Mm-hmm. Like that, there, like there's so much more artistic. Like you watch um Dead Man or not Dead Man one of that. Uh, <laughs> um, Devil May Cry. Right, maybe yeah, yeah, the new one. The, 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 the artwork in the, the new one. The newer one, the artwork's sick as fuck. 
It just the story of it is interesting. It's a I, lot of it's, it's a lot of story, and it's been told yeah. through a lot. It's been, is, anim, anime has like took that story and died multiple times. Did you guys did you guys watch the new one before the old one? Or did you I still haven't watched the old one. The yeah. old one is yeah. more. The old one is more like has more comedy. Oh, I, yeah. yeah, it has a lot more comedy and less like serious and glory. But in like whenever I went to it, I was like, this wasn't the same story as like. I was but like, yeah. that's the thing. They've done like multiple different versions of it. So like it, every take has its own way. But like I think for a dark theme, I think they did great. I and mean, with I think Netflix, they, yeah, Netflix, uh, especially for, too, especially for Netflix, they can do whatever they want. They can have like sex. They can have literally sex scenes in the stuff without it getting like restricted. Yeah, from, like, Japan. Yeah. Or yeah, or Japan because they're like yeah, that's straight out. Yeah. It comes out on Netflix, and that's a streaming service. Though they don't have the same restrictions, mm-hmm. and that's why they can go balls like to the wall. Like they yeah. can smash your balls against the wall. But that also shows you that there's that there's <laughs> no limits like. How regular movies, same with anime, like like anime. Yeah. Like not a lot of people think that anime is a real industry. Like there's rules, there's companies. There's Japan, out. all of Japan, a whole country is anime. You cannot tell me <laughs> exactly, exactly. Like you gotta set laws, bro. Like you know what I'm saying. You gotta set restrictions. Like this is yeah, a real, yeah. this is real content. Like mm-hmm. these things. Are, like I feel like an, a lot more anime is released on theaters in Japan than it is oh, here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's it's that and if people so are gonna be so, you know, stop it. <laughs> exactly. So, <laughs> but I wish, dude. I would. I wish I could live there. I know, but I, I wish I could live there, but not live there. I wish I could not be there whenever I wanted. And yeah. leave whenever you want, and come back whenever yeah. you want. And um, <laughs> and that way, then most a dollar rent. <laughs> 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 yes. Free trip. Free trip. <laughs> um, but um, we are getting towards. Uh, yes, this is what our problem is. We don't have a lot of storage. You guys know this. You guys been here, yeah. but uh, but yeah. we're gonna get this figured out. So. I promise. But right now we are at fifty six minutes, which is yeah. right on where we really yeah. wanted to be at. Yeah, well, but but um, I've got a lot of fun. yo, yeah. I, a lot of people say that. Yeah. And when they get on here, like people are like, yo, I never realized talking to you fucks are fucking. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking entertaining. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like I thought you guys were just like kill me and throw me like you know. No, straight up, like I love talking to you guys either way, yeah, you know. Exactly. But then like talking to you on this, like it's. I like talking about myself, you know, but yeah. I like talking to you guys about all your opinions and all that yeah. stuff. And I like hearing, like, your questions towards me, because I know, like, like when you're asking questions, you kind of want to know, like, you want to learn from that person, you know, the stuff. Like, like I want to learn from you guys, too. Like, what got you guys, I know, like, we're almost done, but what, <laughs> got, you, what got you guys into this stuff? Um, we wanted, so what me and Isaac's philosophy was, is that we want to be able to create something big, like, in empire like a community like you know yeah. some super big and when we get up there and we finish doing what we want to do travel the world you know save up money put in our bank account we want to give that position to somebody else pass that company so it doesn't have to be like this company it could be like you know you could you could take the money from this company and just give it to somebody else and start your own thing mm-hmm. and that's what we really want is just give everybody an opportunity we want, give, we want to try to give as many people in the world as many opportunities because like I if you if you want to bring up your point, they usually bring about um, the best places. Oh yeah, well, it's like I tell Isaac this, and you guys know this phrase, but like um, the most valuable places are in, aren't filled with riches or gold or fortunes. The happiest yeah. places on earth, I mean, the happiest, the richest and most valuable places on earth are cemeteries, mm-hmm. and because in that ca- in lies what lies those ca- caskets are ideas, inventions. You know, like yeah. the medicine that people it's never. True. I mean, it's, yeah, and, and mind. you know, and, and it'll help advance humanity if we give everybody that chance to yeah. put what they and have and that's, out and there. That's why we want to be like a big part of like contributing to like helping like and like you know, yeah, like help people like in need like in and different about, countries because like those people that are starving. And we'll dying, never know who the smartest person in the world exactly. is. Exactly. But like, if we keep helping these people survive, those, that, might chance, yeah. Yeah, exactly. that might be nice. That might be nice that we just say. See, like that's why I wanted to know what you guys were all about. Yeah, I wanted to know. Like, I mean, obviously, that's going to be the motives of a lot. Like, they want to make the world better, you know? Yeah. But it's, like, a different perspective. Because I want to put smiles on people's faces. And I kind of want to do the same thing with you guys. I want to yeah. I want to give people We just want to create. Yeah, we want to give as many people opportunities to just create a better future. And pretty much. on top of that, we want to show people that it's possible. Like, mm-hmm. me and Isaac are 19 years old. We're young. We're broke. We're college kids who hate college. We're all broke. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And we want to prove a point that you could turn nothing into something. And we plan on becoming, like, the biggest. Yeah. Like, we, I made a bet with Brett that would become those, bigger than Apple. Dude, those dreams, dude. That's not what you got to do. I get mm-hmm. so much back, like... Like back talk from some people, like, yeah, like my parents and stuff. And my, I mean, my dad, he does radio and stuff. Uh, and I mean, he's all out there. 
And I know, like, I, I still, like, I care what they say, but I still get some support from them, and the support is good, but then, them saying that, I like, it's dumb kind of pushes me even more, because I know mm -hmm. that yeah, it's yeah, yeah. more possible than they think. Exactly. Yeah, and exactly, and I, you want to prove them, like, wrong. Yeah, yeah. Like, show them that, you know, it is a career, and, like, you know. It's a thing that can happen. Oh, yeah, you, 100%. I put exactly. a lot, like, I put a lot of work into these videos, like, just yeah. as much as my dad does into his radio, like, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. obviously I'm not doing it every single day. He he does grind. I'm but not especially like nowadays. I'm gonna fucking tell you guys what. I put more work into doing this than college work, and that's on God. Like that's on I've serious. done more in this room so far on this first time I'm on this podcast. Thank you guys for letting me be on this yeah. podcast. Yeah. Yeah. It's been fun. Yeah. Yeah. I've done more in this room than I've done for all school, and I've I have like 17 hours of like school. Yeah, like, hours right yeah that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, that's how we grow. But attend it, just grind. Do what you love. Don't care what yeah. people say. Just grind. Yeah. Do it. Prove them wrong. Um, but yeah, we you know, it. make sure you love what you're doing. Yeah, because that's very important. Yeah. Make, make the content Good how you message. want. Good message. Good message to end on. Let's yeah. go, on, bro. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm James. I'm Ivy. Photo. <laughs> I'm Puerto. I'm Puerto. You're gonna show your face. I'm Filipino. I'm Puerto Rican. <laughs> um, this has been our guest John. Check his channel out. Everything yeah. in the description yeah, cool. below. Yeah. Um, um, Pink Yao King on YouTube, um, um, Instagram. He'll explain his hair. Yeah, it yeah, will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and on the podcast. And on yeah. the podcast. You guys see this? <laughs> right, we're going to do it like that. But, uh, <laughs> right, no, we'll see you guys. Uh, by the way, this has been Conversation for Homo. <laughs>